Tonight, the family of a local man killed in a cliff jumping accident in Utah is now talking about the tragic accident. Our Peyton Marshall has more on how they're honoring Corey's memory while giving back to the community he loved. His name was Corey. The family just held a celebration of life for him last weekend. I sat down with Corey's brother and mom to learn how they're teaming up with Camp Joy to keep Corey's legacy alive. He's the life of a party everywhere he goes, but when he walks into a room, it's not like, hey, I'm here. It's, hey, there you are. And he like he made every situation about the people he's around. Corey Urchwinder, a Cincinnati man, was a lover of the outdoors who had a thirst for adventure. He would camp, wakeboard, bike, and climb to stunning sights. His brother, Stephen, describes him as a free spirit. He only was around for 34 years, um, but he lived more in that time than most people do in their whole lives. Sadly, Corey was killed in a cliff jumping accident in Utah on July 20th. The news of his death made national headlines. A lot of the news stories had this wrong. They said it's a 50 foot cliff. It wasn't a 50 foot cliff. It was closer to 30 feet, uh, but basically he, he jumped off and never resurfaced. Stephen tells me Corey was with his girlfriend and close buddies in Lake Powell when it happened. He says Corey had jumped the cliff before with no issues. He says what happened to Corey was a quote freak accident. As the family continues to mourn Corey, they wanted to ensure his legacy adventured on. We found something called Leave No Child Inside uh, Collaborative Greater Cincinnati. And um, we were looking at it and looking into it and saw that it was uh, located on Corey Boulevard in Cincinnati and we're like, wow, this is this is a sign. Instead of flowers, the family is asking for donations to send children to Camp Joy, a way to include both of Corey's passions for children and the outdoors. Stephen says Camp Joy serves thousands of kids every year, many who would not have a chance to go to camp without donors. It costs $1,000 to send one child to camp for five days. Stephen tells me Corey's jersey number was always 22, so the family set a goal to raise $22,000 to send 22 kids to camp. Well, in just a few short weeks, the GoFundMe surpassed that goal. It's an opportunity for kids that either might not know the outdoors or might not have uh, the affordability to be able to go to a place like Camp Joy. Um, so we're, we're really trying to get kids that, that don't know what the outdoors are, is like or uh, have never seen the wilderness and, you know, get them out there camping and, and having fun in nature and uh, be able to grow that love and appreciation um, that Corey had for, for the outdoors. You can learn more about how you can join in on the family's mission to honor Corey on our website and free mobile news app. In studio, Peyton Marshall, Fox 19 Now.